Hello, my loves. I'm back again. So if you missed the live previous to this, make sure that you check it out because I just was playing not too long ago with some of these stamping up stamps and punches. And so I wanted to use them in some projects. So I made some embellishments and I was like, okay, I need to jump on live and make these with my night owls. And I finally got my crumb snatchers to go to sleep. And so, yeah, this is what we're going to make, guys. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure that you guys check it out. I did link all of the products below, and I will link them in this video as well. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Seeking My Crafty Tribe. I forgot your name again. Hey, Tia. Hello, Davina. Hi, Tracy Boo. Hey, Beth. Hey, BB. Glad you can make it, girl. So, guys, share this video. We're just going to be using these little ephemeras and stamps and stuff that we were messing with. And we're going to make these embellishments. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. I use some Pretty Mix uh, Studio charms here. Some lace. Lace makes everything beautiful, guys. So, yeah, this is what we're going to do, guys. So, let me grab some paper. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So, this paper that I was using, it has this on the back and on the back. Spell it out for me the way that it sounds. Oh, here Debbie goes. Hi, Alvina. Hey, Bevy. So um, these got like cut aparts in the back. I don't want to fool with these because I love these. But like the ones like this one I could probably play with. I think it's too short though. All right. You guys have seen me make these before. Let me grab another paper. What's everyone, everybody up to? God, I feel like my light looks bomb as fuck right now. I feel like my lighting is just lit. Oh, I want to use this one. Beth just took a picture with this one. So I'm going to use this one. It's pretty. The little pumpkin one. And it could use a little bit of um orange. So... Let me cut some strips. Oh, I hate it when it has the cute cut parts in the back. Oh, no. Damn, do I want to use this one? Do I want to use this one? And it has the cool foiling in the back. Oh, I'm going to have to use this one. All right. Are you guys weird like that, like me? Probably not. All right, so I'm just cutting some strips of my paper. I'm going to have to cut into this, oh well. I'm acting like I don't have a ton of this paper. What's wrong with me? Where's my little mini paper trimmer? What are those pumpkins? What pumpkins? What pumpkins, Beth? Beth, I'm cleaning my craft room. Use eight by eight. I can't find my pad. It's somewhere, somewhere. I've been moving stuff around because I'm cleaning. That's exactly why I didn't want to start cleaning. Because when I do, I misplace things. So I don't know where. I, that's exactly what I wanted to use was my six by my eight by eight, whatever the dimensions are on that one. So we're just gonna have to make it do what it do. And I don't measure these guys. I just eyeball it. Let me see. This one might be too thin. This is like the worst paper trimmer ever. It's so cute, but it's kind of useless. All right. Let me see if I can cut this one. The white pumpkins. Oh, these are from Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? Hi, Anna. Hi, Clarissa. Welcome back, guys. Oh, this paper is so fucking cute, man. All right. I'm going to stick this in here. Oh, it opens. I was wondering if it opens. This trimmer is so cute, but it only measures up to two and a half inches. It's like, what? 
like really. So I'm just cutting my strips. If you want to make longer ones, you use longer paper, okay? I've done a tutorial on this before, but we're going to go ahead and make these again. All right. All right, let's move this to the side. So basically, all we're going to do is fold this. So the vintage, uh, the vintage goose, she has a tutorial on this. She's the one who came up with this. So you guys check out her channel. I'm gonna try to link one of her videos. She makes amazing embellishments. She's so talented. So I should have sold on these, but I don't feel like busting out my sewing machine. Do you guys are you guys ever like that? Like you just don't feel like busting out your sewing machine? let's see so I like to fold it where you can see the back side here on your creases I have that trimmer too and I can't figure it out because it only I know girl it's so annoying like it only goes up to two and a half inches but it's great for like little tiny scraps okay so this is the no sew version hey Brenda so you just do your folds I just like to I don't really care about the middle because I'm going to embellish it anyways. But I like to make sure that these ends are about the same size. You know what I mean? So then we're going to go ahead and make our little fish tails. I thought about painting these pumpkins pink right here. But I'm like, oh, I like the white. So you cut your little fish tails and then you just glue this. So you can stitch this. Hey, Natalie. Um, but I'm just going to glue it. So you make sure you glue the back and then also the front, okay? I just wanted to use these little ephemera pieces because if I didn't put them on an embellishment, they wouldn't have gotten used. So put some glue. And then on the back side as well. Okay. All right. I can't find the Harley Quinn print pumpkin this year. I've never seen those girl. What do those look like? I need to see that. I love Harley Quinn. All right, so there goes our little banner piece. Now let's go ahead and use our little ephemera pieces that we made earlier. Let me see, I got them all right here. Got a little mess on my desk. So here's some hey boos. There we go, there goes all the stuff. I'm gonna try to get a little organized for once in my life. Oh, she's so cute. Maybe we should use her. Or maybe we should use the kitty. Oh, I love this one. Maybe we can use that one. But then it's like, what do I put here? Hmm. Oh, I like that one, guys. Okay, girl. Did I miss anybody? We'll go with that one. And let's do one of these vellum pieces. So on this one, guys, I stamped 
And then I went over it with this um, metallic marker from the Dollar Tree. In case anybody's curious about that. Let me see. Nope. I'm gonna go with this one. All right, so I'm gonna pop it up on foam. Now I can find my little ones. Thank you. Hey, Lillian. You always fool me with that picture, girl. Cause I'm so used to your um, Instagram one. Oh my gosh, so quiet in my house. It's so weird. Hey, Lana. All right, so if you're just joining, guys, we're just making some Halloween embellishments um, using those ephemera pieces that we made earlier with the Stampin' Up, the Halloween Stampin' Up punch and stamp sets. Okay, we've got our hey boo there. And let's stick our pumpkin here. I want my pumpkin to be higher than everything else. Hey, Christina, welcome back, girl. Hey, Alicia. I love how this pumpkin came out. It's so cute. Even though um, it doesn't, it's like the 31 doesn't have purples in it. I don't care. It looks cute with this. I stamped most of it. Um, and then these are the punch. So the cat head, the pumpkin is a punch. And then the ghosty is a punch. Everything else is stamped. So let's double this. All right. All right, guys. So if you order from Stampin' Up, there goes the code. It is E as in egg, T as in Thomas, T as in Thomas, C as in cat, G as in good morning, M as in Mary, and V as in Victor, okay? For those of you who catch the replay. Look how cute. And then I want to do a little dangle. I'm going to put my dangle here. So let me get my little puncher, hole puncher. Damn it. I'm going to put it like right there. I don't know. I like my hanging on the bottom for some reason. And then let me put a little eyelid in there. Where did it go? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Guys, Ava gave me hell today. Oh, my God. I was like, yay. Three of my kids are going to school. I get a little break. It's going to be me and Ava. Ava's like, shit. Where did I put those eyelids? Here we go. No, that's not done. What did I do with them? Hmm. Bear with me, guys. I already know. I'm always losing shit, misplacing shit. I know it's somewhere right in my face.
We're going to be using Pretty Mix Studios charms, her Halloween charms. I'm in love with these bats, guys. Like, look at these bats. They're so cute. Hey, Dev, uh, Gina. Gina Loquita. Where did I put my eyelids? I was just using them. I don't know where I put them. We're just going to have to use other colors. But anyways, I was going to show you guys them because they're really tiny. And they come in black, gold, silver, copper. And they look perfect for Halloween. I don't know what I did with them. Whatever. We're going to go with these pastel ones that I have. Hmm. I call myself cleaning up and I just misplaced everything. And I know it's somewhere right in my face. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What kind of lace is the black you're using? Oh, I was gonna um haul this tomorrow. I just bought this lace from Amazon. I'll put the link in it um below, but this is what it looks like. It's just some black, like, ruffled trim. This is the lace that I used. So I will link it. Let me take a breather because I'm getting really frustrated right now that I cannot find my shit. All right. I'm just going to have to go with these, even though I really want to use those black ones. Um, I'm just going to use a regular circle one. Damn it. Where did I put them, guys? Please tell me, like, I'm not the only one this happens to. Put that right there. I'm still trying to, like, find them. All right, whatever. I'm going with that. So, anyways, make your little eyelet. Make sure you guys put an eyelet on your hole if you're going to put a dangle. Because the paper, the paper will rip. Hey, Jenny. Yeah, it's not on the floor. So irritating. All right. All right, and then we're gonna use, I just have so much stuff everywhere. We're gonna use one of the charms from Pretty Mix Studio. So these are some of her, she has some new things in the shop right now, but these are her older ones. I would do a pumpkin, but there's so many pumpkins going around. Too many pumpkins. Oh, I think that this one will look cool. Let's go with that one. Oh, it's so frustrating. Every time I go live, I'm like always, I spent half my life looking for shit. It's so frustrating. And I literally just cleared my desk. I'm just one of those people where I like to have all my stuff. Not all my stuff, but as much so that I have options. You know what I mean? And I end up um, hiding stuff from myself. 
So let's use one of these little hats. She has two types of hats. This one has like this embossing or whatever detail. And the other one is smooth. Check behind the pumpkins. Nope. I know one of y'all stole them. They're right here on my fucking face. Ugh. This is the one, guys. You can get this from Hobby Lobby. And they have a bunch of black ones, white. I love this set. It's so cute. I just wish they would have replaced the, these two with another color. Here it goes right here. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm going to have to put those in my jars here. I find that if I put my stuff in these, I could find it more, more quicker. So I'm going to have to like redo my bead things or buy some more. And put little stuff like that because I can never find them when I need them. It's so annoying. All right, so we'll put that one. Oh, I wish I had some black jump rings. How bomb would that look? Oh, we got to work with what we got. It's so annoying. Don't come over here with that negativity, Christina, talking about some yay silver. Don't be a negative Nancy. Christina, where have you been, girl? I feel like you've been MIA. I haven't. I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. So, guys, um, a lot of you know because a lot of you who are on this live are in my swap. I am hosting a swap this year. It's closed right now, but I really would like for anyone who doesn't know about it or hasn't heard about it to go and follow the hashtag. It is hashtag Bucci. Halloween swap 2021. We have some amazing talented ladies and they are gonna show the fuck out. I cannot wait to see what everyone come up comes up with. The jump rings too little. See if I would have did a black eyelet, I could have put my pink ring. But no, thank you, Lana. So I would love for you guys to follow along and follow along all of the amazing participants. So the swap, they have to make, for the swap, it's Halloween. They have to make three Halloween bows, three Halloween tassels. What else, guys? A bead box, a Halloween bead box. Um, and I wanted to include a bee box because my very first swap was the bee box swap. And it's almost been a year. And I know we've all been buying all kinds of beads within a year. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to add a bee box. There we go. Damn, I'm struggling today. Um, and then also, they're required to make... A decor piece, a customized decor piece for their craft room, which is going to be so much fun. So it can be like a banner. Look how cute that is. It can be like a banner, you know, with their name on it. It can be whatever. As long as it's personalized. So I'm super excited to see all the creativity. Because everybody's so creative. It's just so fun like to see these swaps, what everyone comes up with. You know how their mind thinks and what they come up with is so dope. Because we're all different. And then you're going to add your lace. I'm going to cut it right there. And then the last piece is a 3D project. And I know that a lot of people were like super intimidated by that. But a 3D project can mean so many things. You can alter a box, and that would be a 3D thing. You can do a shadow box, will be considered a 3D. I don't know. I've been looking on Pinterest, guys, and you guys look up Halloween crafts, and you'll see so much inspiration on there. My cameo is going to be running for days. That code provided is a coupon code for the punches. It is not a coupon code. It is um. Just a code for her to get credits for the sale. Unfortunately, Stampin' Up! doesn't give any um co uh, coupons. Thank you, Lana. Me too, Clarissa. I'm so excited. 
Hey, Nadine. Oh, I hope you feel better, girl. A bead box is, um, I posted it on my stories. It's like one of those embellishment boxes, but you guys can use any box. So, um, ladies, if you're in the swap and you're on this live or you watch it, decide with your partner what size you want to do. Some ladies are going to make their boxes from paper. I know there's a group doing that. And there's some awesome tutorials. You can do it on your silhouette. There's a bunch of boxes on your Cricut. And Christian has a ton of box tutorials as well. Um, some people are going to do the Dollar Tree embellishment box. So basically, you're just going to put some bees in there. There are some girls who are going to... Let me lay this down right. I'm getting distracted. Going to use like these containers from, from um, Walmart that stack and you can put like a bunch. So I don't care what you guys, as long as you guys agree upon something, because I wouldn't want someone to give like a huge bead box and then the other one give like a tiny little, you know what I mean? So that way you know what to expect from your partner. And in that bead box, you're going to put beads. You can put dangles. You can put charms. You can, what else? What else can you put in there? Whatever you want, some heishi beads, you can throw some of those in there. And then decorate Halloween. So if you guys need some inspiration, I will link my video from last year's beatbox that I made. And it is Halloween themed. Damn it, my glue. Hey, Sandra. Let me see. Hi, Dulce. How are you, girl? Where's Anna? My glue is tripping right now. Oh, girls. So, yeah, I'm super excited to see everyone's creativity. All right, so I'm trying to place my lace nicely. It's a little bit difficult because it is ruffled and it kind of curves. Yes, you can put money in that box. Especially if you want to send me a box and put some money on it. Yeah. You can put whatever in your box. I don't care as long as you have some beads in there. And guys, don't stress yourself about Halloween beads. Because I'm going to link my video on Instagram where I show exactly what I put in mine. And it basically was just a colored scheme of pastel Halloween. And I just included some like skull beads and pumpkin beads and stuff like that. Okay, so there's that. This is how it looks so far. I didn't see your comment, girl. I had to scroll up. Hi, Crafts We Create. Is it Lillian? All right, so I got some sequins here. And this these big black star ones, they're from the Dollar Tree, guys. There's actually like a different mixture of sizes. So if you go in the party section of your Dollar Tree, you can find these. I knew I was going to want them for Halloween. This one's too big. Let me use a smaller one. Okay, I use that one. Sorry if I um miss anybody, guys. I'm trying to focus on this, and I'm missing some of the chat. So I just want to cluster some sequins, and then these little cute pink glitter ones are from Pretty Mix Studio as well. I'm going to link everybody below. I'm going to link the Stampin' Up! stuff. I'm going to link prettymixstudio.com. I'm going to put that video. What else? And I'm going to put this trim. 
so you guys can grab it. Now, this trim took a long time to come. Just keep that in mind. And there's even these tiny little star ones that she has in her shop. I'm so weird, guys. I use the smallest shit. Like, I just think that the details are everything. So I just put a glue on a little piece of it. And I'm just going to layer it. Like that. Isn't that cute? How cute is that? Alright. I like that. Let me see if I can add a bigger star over here. I like these big ass stars. Thank you, Mama. I wanted to require some embellishments, but I already felt like everybody thought it was a lot of stuff going on in the swap. So I was like, fine, I'll leave it out. Mm, it's too damn big. If I want to edit, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut some of it off. Got to make it work. Yes, it's all about the details. I'm going to stick it in there like that. Yeah, I like that. Make it work, make it work. So yeah, guys, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So if you're on Instagram and you're not following the hashtag, make sure you're following it. And check out all the ladies because they're going to be posting things using the hashtag. And when you're following the hashtag, you'll be able to see their posts. Okay. And then I'm going to add some more of these little clusters. Oh, these pink ones are their life. I started it on my bead box today. Nice. Are you guys nervous? Do you guys feel nervous? You better not feel nervous. And guys, we are going to have giveaways. I already have some sponsors. I have not posted the sponsors yet. But our friend Ana La Cubana, she's going to be giving away three prizes. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. But anything that that woman makes is amazing. Um, Urban Gems is going to give two $20 gift certificates. Leslie, who is Leslie Crafts here on YouTube and Instagram. She's going to be giving away one of her amazing kits that she makes. She always makes. She always comes through for my swaps. I'm so sad she's not joining this year. Um, And I feel like, I think Alicia is also sponsoring. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. All right, let's add a little black one there too. So we're going to have some sponsors, all right? I don't, I'm not going to go too crazy with the sponsors this time because um, it's a little hard to keep up with. But we are going to have some prizes. Um, and, you know, the giveaway, like, it doesn't, I mean, the swaps that I do, I don't, don't want to always have prizes because I feel like the prize is your swap. You know what I'm saying? But when my people hit me up, I'm like, okay. And I love doing the giveaways because it's a great way for my sponsors to get their, their stuff seen. You know what I mean? Their shop seen and all that good stuff. Okay, Alicia's going to be giving away something in the Stampin' Up! catalog. So guys, these swaps are a lot of work for me to put together, but it's so worth it. I think that it's so worth it. It's fun for me. It's fun for everyone. So. All right. And then I want to add a Jemmy. I bought these on clearance from Michaels a while ago. And I'm obsessed with them. They're so pretty. Let me see. I'm going to tuck this one here. I feel like it needs another jemmy. Do I want to put another jemmy? This one's very green. I'll put that one there and then 
So I'll stick this one down here. And then I want to put something here on the pumpkin. I'm just going to put a little pink one. Maybe I'll put this ghosty. I'm not participating in any more swaps until I'm more comfortable in this form of crafting. Are you new to paper crafting, Duffy? Yeah, I'm going to put that little ghosty right there. Yes, girl, I know you're going to be great. Okay, Gina. Thanks for stopping in, girl. Gina, I'm obsessed with my swan, girl. Everybody's always harassing me about my swan. I'm like, don't be looking at my swan. Gina gave that to me. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So there goes another. And I think I'm going to add um, nouveaux to these. After I'm, I, I do a couple of them. So there goes one. Let me go back to this paper. I just scrapped the world purse swap and almost had a nervous breakdown. Why? Swaps can be very intimidating. Oh my God, look at how cute that spider is. I can't go for that spider. I gotta keep that spider there. See, everybody, I'm trying to take my swan from me. Mm. I want my ends to be kind of the same length. All right, that'll do. Sometimes these could be a little wonky. It doesn't matter because, like I said, we're embellishing on top of them. Gina, I didn't know you had kids. Hey, Royal, where you been at, girl? I don't want to feel like I have to sew everything or make it all shakers. <laughs> I know, girl. Sometimes it's such a hassle to sew. But I'm not with you on a shaker, girl. I have to make everything shaker. Shaker everything. Bow everything. Sequin everything. So I'm cutting my little fish tails. I'm intimidated by these swaps. Don't be, girl. Do not be intimidated. With each one that you do, you'll be more and more confident, girl. So I'm just adding glue into my little creases, guys. So it could stay down, but you can definitely sew this. I should have added some sewing to these, but like I said, I don't feel like busting out my sewing machine. I'm in the process of doing my room, and I'm going to make sure that my sewing machine is right next to me. But again, everybody, I want everybody to follow my my um Halloween swap and follow all the lovely ladies and all my sponsors. Make sure you guys follow them. Let me see what you guys are saying. I don't have a sewing machine, so I hand stitch. Oh my God, such that's, that's so much work, girl. Show off F with the F. What bow dye is that one? What am I doing? What bow dye is that one? Or did you make it yourself? Which, what bow? What bow? I don't know what you're talking about, Alicia. Just came in to say hi. Hi, Chiquita. Can't stay. Good night. Good night, Mama. I do love the, the zoos it up. Yes, girl, me too. I don't know what bow you're talking about. This is so cute. I love the charms. All right. Focus, Gucci. Okay, I'm not going to make this a 10-hour live. People do not want to watch your ass for 10 hours, girl. See, like this one's too purple. That one's too pink. Too much pink on pink. 
She's so pretty, though. I love this little kitty. I have to use that kitty. I don't care. The pink. What pink bowl, guys? What am I missing? Where? Where's the bowl? Am I tweaking? What bowl, girl? Are you talking about this uh, trim? All right, let's get a vellum. Or oh, where's that? I had one that was back on my orange. Where is it at? This one. Might be too much pink. Yeah. It's not that bad, though. The one with the cats. A bow with the cats. Can y'all tell me what she's talking about? The bow with the cat. I'm lost, girl. I'm so lost right now. All right. Let me make sure I want to use this one. I do. Does the vellum one look better? Let's see. She is the most. The one you are working on now. It doesn't have a bow. There's no bow on here. I'm so lost. Alicia, do you got a little drinky drink in your system, girl? Were you smoking the devil's lettuce? Oh, I folded this paper, girl. Thought you were smoking the devil's lettuce, girl. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is she talking about a bow? Poochie, hold up. What you working? What you working on? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? I was going to say, Alicia, put down the blunt. All right, let me put some glue. Because we don't trust Dollar Tra. Let it go to the edge. She's just so cute. Big purr. Yeah, girl, she's making me go crazy. I'm like, what the hell is she talking about, guys? Show me. So what do you guys think about the new Stampin' Up! Punch and um, stamp set? Tell me your honest thoughts. I honestly had so much fun playing with the stamps, and I never have fun playing with stamps. Or pass it to me. <laughs> pass the toilet paper. Was that a song before? I feel like that might have been a song. I'm going to have to cover the damn spider anyways. Because I got to put my little dangle. Hey, boo. How cute. So cute. Okay. I'm adding a black jump ring, okay? This damn thing is in the way. Get out the way. There we go. Damn. What the? F there we go. Ah, I guess all stuck in there. Put a little hole. Get it, girl. It said low stock on the deer. The deer is almost sold out. So if you guys want that deer for your stash, you better snatch it. I'm telling you guys right now. Um, I think that's the only one that was low inventory. 
And they do have a bundle with the stamp and the punch for the Halloween one. And it's a little less than buying them separate. Thank you, Mama. It is a Halloween punch. Somebody link it for me. I think you make it all look better than ever because you bring your craziness to it. It adds, this girl just called me crazy. It adds humor. I am crazy though. And cuteness to the set and punch like you bring them to life. Oh, thanks, girl. <laughs> I'm like, she's called me crazy. All right, let me secure the bag. You do not want to pass this one by, guys. Look at how cute. So cute. All right, let's see what dangle we're going to use for this one. I'm going to use this bat one again. Because it's so damn cute. Natalie, do you have some more of these for me, girl? Are you here, Natalie? Or did you leave me? Yes, girl. There's a new catalog out. And they have some bomb Halloween stuff. Let me use the pink jump ring. Or let me use gold, actually. I need some gold. I got a lot of pink going on. Hopefully that one will be a bit, I think it's too little. These embellishments are so much fun to make, guys. Yeah, that one's bigger. I've been wanting the deer punch in the other Halloween set. Grab it, girl. I didn't even know there was a new punch. Yes, girl, I need some more bats. These are my favorite. They're so different from the other charms. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to have a haul for you guys. And guys, you can grab this 31 collection at Urban Gems. Okay, I'm going to link her as well. That's where I got this paper from. If you do not have this collection in your stash, you need it. He did such a bomb job with this collection. Come through, Frank Garcia. Yes, it's so cute. Look at how cute. All right. And then let's put our lace to make it a little more grown and sexy. You know what I'm saying? I love lace, guys. Oh, my God. Black lace. I think it's the Scorpio in me. But I love me some black lace. I think it's so sexy. Look, I love black lace tops. Black lace uh, grandma draws. Just plain. I don't wear granny panties. Black lace bras, the bomb. Okay, you want to get some crafty money? Put on some black lace. All right, so this ruffle trim is a little bit hard to like maneuver because it's, it's like it's bent right here. If anyone has any questions about the Stampin' Up stuff, please contact me. I'll be more than happy to help. You always do that when I'm broke as hell. <laughs> Just chilled out. I know, girl. Oh, my God. Guys, I spent $400 on shoes for the kids for school. I was like, what the fuck? Like Elijah's shoes were 100 I'm like, what the hell? So I can only imagine when he gets older. And guys, you can put the lace going down to the bottom. I just like it to the top because I got the dangle on the bottom. So take your time with this part and get it to lay right. I'll link this... Um, this lace if anyone's interested. 
Don't be trying to wear this lace for your man, okay? It's too small. Yes, girl. And then today, my daughter, <laughs> poor thing. She's like, mommy, I need a locker. She's like, I need a locker thing for a gym. I'm like, girl. I'm like, you are asked out on whatever else you may need. So she better hope Dollar Tree carries it. They don't even have lockers. Why the hell she need a locker key for a gym? It makes no sense. Yes, everything is, is so expensive, girl. I don't know if I should cut this or if I should leave that right there. What do you guys think? I don't mind it, honestly. What do you guys think? And let's do our little sequin clusters while you guys are telling me if I should trim this or not. Let me add my little blingy. Whatever else she needs, they better uh, be able to get it at Dollar Tree. She's like, every day she's like, mommy, I made three new friends. She's like, it's so weird. Everyone keeps coming up to me. And they're like, what's your name? I'm like, tell them boys to get away from you. Oh, God, I'm so nervous about the boys being on my baby. All right, I think I like that. Let's move this one over a little bit. I'm so weird about my placements on my jammies. Okay. Hi, Emily. Yay, Dollar Tree got locks. Okay, now let's add our little sequin clusters. Where did my tweezers go? Which one of y'all stole my tweezers? I know it was Sandra because she's too quiet. So let's get a little star. Again, these stars are from Dollar Tree. My baby's 14. She's a freshman in high school now. And I saw these little grown-ass boys. And all I was thinking in my mind was like him trying to talk to my baby. And then his daddy coming with a shotgun. Her daddy. But everybody at that high school is so damn grown, guys. I seen this girl with her back all out, like a crop top, a little string in the back. I was like, hell no. And I just hope my daughter does not want to dress like that. I wouldn't let her anyways. Guys, don't let your kids dress all grown, man. Let, let them keep their innocence. Even if they're in high school. There's nothing like a child's innocence. You know what I'm saying? They got plenty of times to be dressing like a little thotty. Thank you, guys. Mm, I took it like that. Look at how cute. Okay, let's see. Oh boy, that's not good. I don't blame your husband. My son is 14 as well. You don't want to know the mess. Oh my God, what does he be saying, Christina? Give us the tea, girl. I need to know what the 14-year-old boys are saying. Give us the tea. She was telling me that like, she had to sit in front of all these class count clown boys and they were like, hey, Maya. Hey, Maya. And she was trying to ignore them because my baby, she's a really good gamer. And she kicks everybody's ass in um, Fortnite. Like anybody, she will kick anybody's ass in Fortnite. She's really good. And so you know the boys like somebody they could play with or whatever. And they were like, hey, Maya, hey, Maya. And she's like, what? And they were like, I heard you're good at Fortnite. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God. Do they have a dress code at the high school? These girls are wearing super short shorts. She told me they don't, girl. She said they do not have a dress code. 
And I was like, obviously. But it's so cute to see her like express herself through her fashion and stuff. Hi, Eva. Hi, Angel. Alicia's last name is Carter. She's in Cali. She's the one that's in Cali. A couple of different names will come up. It was like American Top Model versus the Hawaiian. <laughs> I think I have the unpopular opinion of believing girls should be able to wear whatever they want, but it's up to the boys to keep themselves in check. I agree. But I think at a certain age, certain things are appropriate. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want no grown, nasty, dirty man looking at my daughter any certain way, you know? They don't need to seem any more older than the age that they are, in my opinion. They be hearing all this shit on the YouTube. Yes, girl, I know. I am very old school with my kids. Uh, my daughter just got her phone not too long ago. She is not allowed to be on no damn TikTok, Facebook, none of that shit. I let her have a Pinterest and I still, I monitor that too because it's just too much, it's too much stuff going on guys. I'm all about protecting the babies. Unfortunately, this is a crazy, nasty world that we live in. And there's some weirdos out here. And there's some kids who have been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, they've been, um, what's the word? What's the word? I can't think of the word, but they've seen some grown things. You know, they've been exposed to some grown up things. Okay. I think I like that. It is girl. Hey, Eve. Good job, Christina. You're a good mama girl. I know you are. I'm going to have a little ghosty peeking out. I'm going to stick this one here. I won't go too crazy. But yeah, I want her to express herself through her fashion. But there's just some things that she's not going to wear until she gets older and up out of my damn house. Then, girl, you can wear what you want. Do you, boo-boo? But yeah, she's in high school and you guys already know how that goes. You remember when you were in high school. The things that go on today is crazy. It is. I don't know what it's like to raise a girl. I only have a three and a half year old boy, but respect for others, especially women. Yes, that's so awesome, Emily. It's a hard job, whether you're raising a, a girl or a boy. You know what I mean? It's it's hard. Raising ch children in general, it's a hard job, man. All right, I'm going to add a little star one right here. And then we're going to call this one done. What time is it? We've been on here for an hour. Damn. Damn. How cute are these little star sequins, guys? Oh, my God. I have three girls and a boy. Well, how old are the girls, Eva? And the boy. Is that a mixed one you bought? I made this one, Tia. So, in this mix, I have, like, some sequins that I got in my order from Urban Gems. She threw some of these in my bag, my box. And then these stars are from Dollar Tree. And then I have those little, these pink stars and the pink glitter ones are from Pretty Mix Studio. And then these purple ones, because I was working with the ooh, Pinkaboo collection, these purple ones. They're from Dollar Tree. They come in those frames. They have like sequins in them. All right, so there's that one. I need to add some stickles to her cheeks. Let's do that. Good night, Dulce. Let me see. My youngest got bullied by two girls that were mean as hell to him. Made him oh, hell no. I'm pulling up. 
Kids can be nasty, girl. I think it has a lot to do with peer pressure, you know? They they have, like, friends that do stupid, wrong shit, and they, they think it's cool, and they want to follow along. Most of them know better. So I had a, a talk with my daughter, and I was like, baby, you're about to start high school. Look at how pretty, guys. I love it. She's so cute. So I told my daughter, you're going to start high school. It's going to be different. You know, you, you're going to, um, I told her there's two type of people in this world. And the, there are leaders and there are followers. And I told her that she needs to be a follower. I mean, uh, <laughs> I told her she needs to be a follower. I told her she needs to be a leader. Okay. Um, it's, I told her it takes a lot to lead. Some people are going to be doing the wrong things. And you have to be the one to be like, no, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? So I told her that she's going to, you know, be pressured sometimes to do things that she knows is not right. And to not get involved with it. Because your mama going to pull up. Yeah, and then it doesn't help all this shit on, you know, social media and stuff. All these dumbass challenges, the crate challenge, all this stupid stuff. All right, I'll go with that. The lace gives it, yes, girl. It's sexy, ain't it? Hey, Robin. You missed the conversation about the lace, girl. Yes, girl. Oh, I thought, I was like, what bow is she talking about? My pull-up skills are strong. Yes, girl. I made sure that, like, she's right down the street in case I need a pull-up. My bells got picked on. She stood up for herself, and she's super shy. Oh, that, how strong of her to do that. Yes, Eva. These are so fun to make, guys. I hope that you guys feel inspired and that you make some of these. Make sure that you guys grab that punch and grab that stamp. Because look at how cute these ephemera pieces are. And we're using the 31 collection. It goes well with it, I think. And look at how cute Natalie's charms are making these look. All right. So I just glued those down. So Alicia, after I fold them, I glue each piece. You can sew this, but I don't feel like sewing today. So this is what we're doing. Let me get my scissors. Who, my name? Oh, your doggy. What's wrong? Is he throwing up or something? Got diarrhea? Do you got to give him some... um? Rice and chicken thing. That's what we used to do with our dogs when they got sick. Yes. It is in my previous video. Video, But can one of my moderators link uh, the sequin, the Pretty Mix Studio, link the Stampin' Up! products as well? Pretty please, one of my moderators. Oh, you're so sweet, girl. Pumpkin helps doggy stomach tummies. Oh, I heard that, Emily. I've heard that. All right, we got that. Let me see what else we got here. I want to use... Damn, I should have took a picture of these before I started putting them on here. I want to use this one. Is that too plain? We're going to make this one plain. I'm putting this one right here on the side. Not so much plain, but just not so much extra. You know what I'm saying? I always gave mine rice chicken. Yes. Thank you. Do we get a percent off? No, there's not a percent off with Stampin' Up, girl. They tripping. I keep 
pressing the wrong button. I'm sorry, guys. I hope your fur baby gets better. I always gave mine pumpkin, rice, chicken, and pumpkin. But there is a bundle where you can save a little bit of money. It's a little bit less than buying each one individually. Hey, Maria. Thank you, Natalie. There goes the Stampin' Up right there, guys. Okay. And then also Pretty Mix Studio, please, and Urban Gems for the paper. His stomach ache because his daddy probably gave him his leftovers. Oh, yeah. It's bad for dogs to eat um, table food, even though they like it. But it starts to mess with their stomach, girl. Their stomachs can't handle it. What the hell you put in that food, Gina? Put some jalapenos in there. All right, we're going to go with that one, guys. I think it would look cute if I would have put, like, a little piece of trim here in the middle. Yes, the bundle is 10% off. Bye, girl. Have a good night. So all orders ramping up between now and the end of September will be entered into the drawing. So Alicia, are you going to be able to keep up with who's ordering? All right. So there goes that. Let's hang our dangle here. I'm going to put it like right here. It feels so good to be crafting. I'm sorry, but I love these little black eyelets. Yes, girl. Did you buy it all, Christina? <laughs> all right. Put that there. And let's set it. And let's pick a cute little charm. I think we can go for a bigger charm since it's not a lot going on. So let's see. I kind of want to use this little pumpkin. I thought it, I think it'd be cute. So guys, tell me what you think. Should we use this little pumpkin? Let me open this up. Hi, Sam. I see all orders. I will be adding the name into a spinner. Right, but would you be able to tell their um, Instagram name? You know what I mean? I'm going to pull a couple charms and you guys tell me which one you think will look best. So we got that one. I think that one will be adorable because of all the pumpkin. We could even use a little bow. Guys, thumbs up this video if you want to see some more craft with me embellishments for Halloween. If I get enough likes, I'll do another video this week. We can use this one. I think it's too white, though. We can use this fat-ass little pumpkin, this little uh, ghosty. She plus size. This is me if I were a ghost. Okay. Put that one there. What else we got in here? Or the witch hat or the pumpkin. Let me take it out. Yes, girl. Big is beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, are you going to have their email to contact them? It might be hard to see who wins. 
All right, so we got that one. And let me take out this pumpkin one as well. All right. I'm so thirsty right now. I'm about to drink a big ass water. Too many choices, guys. What do we think, guys? Do we want to go with this witch hat? I think it's kind of cute, the witch hat. Do we want to do the gold pumpkin? I don't think the pumpkin looks good, personally. Do we want to do thickums? Thicker than a snicker? Let me get this glue off of here. Are you guys thinking? Are you looking? Focus. Do we want to do this little mini pumpkin? Or do we want to make it a boho? What are we thinking? I think the little pink pumpkin with maybe a black bead. So you think I should put a bead too? Let me see. God, my sausage fingers. Ghost. I like the ghost. Everybody likes Miss Thickums. Mini pumpkin. Hey, Tracy. We got a tie between Thickums and the mini pumpkin. Y'all like the witch hat? Girl, I told him don't give him the table scraps, and I bet you he did. Ooh, enchiladas. Okay, everybody saying thickums. All right, we're going thickums. Let me get this tape off of here. All right. Let me get a jump ring. How you doing, Tracy? Thank you for joining us. It feels so good to be crafting with my night owls at night. In the peace and quiet. I forgot to put my lace. Here we go. I'm going to add my little thickums. It needs to be bigger. I did it too far from the edge. I know, Emily. Life's just been so crazy, girl. I've been having a lot on my plate. Like, a lot. But maybe now that the kids are in school... It'll get a little better. I could craft a little more. We'll see. I've missed you guys. I still have a ton of design team projects to do. So overwhelming. And I'm trying to get my craft room together. So, y'all just be patient with me. Look at how cute Thickums is. Let's add our black lace. Got so much stuff everywhere. This is the black lace from Amazon you guys gotta grab. It takes a while to come, but it's so worth it. Where's the front? There we go. I plan to use a lot of lace with my 31 collection. I've still been doing lives here and there. 
I typically always do a haul live, um, usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays, typically Wednesdays. Um, and I've been doing a lot of project shares. All right, let's glue that down. Yes, girl, everybody needs some black lace in their stash. Okay, so put this on carefully. I just put a little bit of glue because it's hard to put on because the way it's like it round, it curves and this is a straight embellishment. So just do a little by little guys. Are you guys ready for Halloween crafting? This is my favorite time of the year. I love Halloween crafting. Last year I made a lot of projects. I'm hoping this year that I can do the same. This one seems so much plain from the other ones. Let me see, what else? Let's go ahead and add our sequin clusters. Let me get my Let me get some stuff cleared. Got too much shit out. And let me grab my tweezers. And let's definitely use these big black stars. Um, Tia, do you mean like wet glue or hot, like hot glue sticks? Um, I love the new, I've, I've come to love the Nouveau glue. I really, really like the Nouveau glue for wet glue. And I've been playing with this that Inez sent me and I really like it. I really like this glue too. Barely Arts glue is really good as well. I am ordering art. I never tried art glitter glue yet, but I hear really good things about it. Yeah, I heard that it freezes. Well, Barely Arts, I think they're comparable, and Barely Arts does not freeze. Hey, Cheryl's. But I'm sure a lot of the ladies here in the chat have tried art glitter glue. So, guys, give her your honest opinion on it. 100 days of crafting. It was a countdown to Halloween. What? Girl, that sounds lit. All right, let me add my little cluster. Yes, Barely Arts is really good. I like theirs. The only thing I don't like about Barely Arts, I always have problems with their glue tips after time. They're always like getting lost or they get clogged. And that's the only thing complaint I have about. But their tips are awesome size-wise and how the glue comes out is perfect. I just always end up having issues with the glue tips for some reason. It's probably just me. Yeah, I know where it barely arts, it does not freeze. There is a reptile glue that is similar to art glitter glue. Does that one freeze to you, Tracy? All right, guys, so I'm just adding some sequins. Let me add that little pink star one. So what I'll do for Pretty Mix Studio, I will link each individual charm that I used. And I'll link these little uh, sequins as well. All right, guys. I don't know. I haven't come, ac come across the glue that's crap yet put that there mm, there's so much space over here <laughs> let me add another cluster here let's see yeah I like that Oh, 
Everybody likes all three. Yeah, they're all really good glues. But guys, Nouveau has been bomb. I've been loving my Nouveau. I wish it came in a bigger bottle. Damn it, I put it in the wrong spot. Damn you, Gina. What was messing me up, Gina? Yeah, I heard good things about reptile glue, too. You live in the North Pole, girl? That sounds so cool. What kind of shopping they got over there? What kind of craft shops are over there in the North Pole? Do you guys have a Tuesday morning? I need to know. T, I need to know. I just want one glue I can use on fabric. You know, fabric tag is really good too. I used to love that glue, but I hate the way that it oozes out of the cap when I'm not using it. But that was some good ass glue too. You can use that on fabric. All right. Mm, that's too much. But I can add my little spermie right here. Maybe a little black star. So that we can um, do some about all this negative space on the other side. Yes. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. What did I say now, Alicia? I am one fourth a mile from Canadian border. No Tuesday, just Hobby Lobby. Well, at least you got Hobby Lobby, girl. Hooby Looby. I know it's so childish that right now, when I hear the North Pole, all I'm thinking about is Santa and his elves. I know that's so childish. I want to visit North Pole and see what it's like. Beacon is good too. Yes. Doesn't Beacon make um, Fabri-Tac? Michael's, Michael's is it no Joanne? Thank you, Robin. All right, I gotta put some glue under the spermie. All righty. So guys, don't be afraid to cluster those sequins. It is called Moors, but it is the most northern part of New York. Nothing here but cows. I know I say this every time someone mentions Hobby Lobby, but man, I got beef with them. <laughs> I know, girl. Hobby Lobby is always in some bullshit. They're always doing some shit. I tried to like um, cancel Hobby Lobby, but then they had this great clearance and then I forgave them. <laughs> That's terrible. They are assholes, they're assholes. What Robin, you wanna strip in the black lace girl? The black lace do make you feel like a stripper. I know what you mean by dance, girl. I know what kind of dance are you talking about. All right. Is 
It's okay, Emily. You can put the curse word, girl. <laughs> we like to cuss over here. All right. So let's clear some of this up. And then we're going to add some new rolls. Like if they don't got enough going on. But I'm trying to use my shit, y'all. Okay. I'm trying to use my shit. All right, let me set this here so I don't lose it and blame Sandra. <laughs> like nobody's watching. Bump chicken wow wow. Put a little Jimmy here. Can't cover up that star. Right there. She's gonna dance on the pole. All right. And let me put another little jemmy there. The jemmies are so cute. Yes, girl. I went to the store. I forgot the name of it. And I bought me this all blaze long sleeve shirt. Oh my God. I can't wait to wear it. I'm going to tell my husband, hey, daddy, give me some craft money. Need some crafty money, daddy. All right, I'm going to go with that. I don't know. This one's kind of bothering me. I stand right there. It's still bothering me. Damn it. Shit. Stop bothering me. No. Yes, if you want to get some crafty money from your significant other, go put on some black lace. All right, we're going with that, okay? We're going with that. All right, let's move this stuff and let's stick, let's move all these bad boys up. You guys already know who the Nouveau dealer is, okay? The Nouveau dealer is Urban Gems, Nurse Tata. She's somewhere flying her broom right now. She ain't got time to be on this live with me. Um, put my beads away. Look at all these firmers I got left. Ooh, I found 50 cents. All right. So I picked out some colors. These are the three that I picked out. Guys, I love this orange color. For Halloween. I used it last year on my ephemeras and it is so bomb. Okay. This is the jewel drops and it is in the color orange marmalade. Screenshot it. Screenshot it. Screenshot it. It's the bomb. Let me see what you guys are saying. Poochie, today is my 20th wedding anniversary. So I'm going to slip into some purple lace. Hey, Coral. I see you, Cheryl's. Happy anniversary. Tara's always on her broom. You are so funny when you talk about Tara being on the broom. What did I just do? Good night, Gina. Bye, Gina. To prefer it. Good morning from Munich, Germany. Welcome. 6.47 in the morning. Nice. Bye, Gina. I hope you feel better, baby, and your, your doggy feels better. The lady at my store acts like you're stealing from her crazy kids. What? Without fail, every time I step foot into any location, I get followed. What? I'll be like, um, excuse me, you're harassing me, and I'm going to call my attorney. Bye, Tiffany. Thanks for joining us. That's pretty lady on screen. Oh, how did I highlight your thing? I hate this damn stream yard still. After all this time, I still hate you, stream yard. Damn it. Okay. 
All right, let's do our, and then I'm gonna use this color here. This is actually a glow in the dark nouveau and it does glow in the dark. I did a demo on this last year. This color is called Shocking Pink, okay? All you have to do is um, get it going with a UV light and it will glow in the dark. And then the black, my favorite to use are the vintage drops, okay? This is a matte, a matte finish. So it's not gonna be glossy. These are my faves, okay? We're gonna use these. I feel like this one doesn't need a lot of black. So maybe we'll just go in with the pink. I hope I'm not overdoing it with these nouveaux because I got a lot of shit going on, but. Oh no, you better work on me. Let me see, let me get an eye pen. All right, let's see. I think that's a cute pop color. And then I'm gonna put some orange. It's probably too much going on, but don't matter. I'm using my damn stash, okay? Damn it, don't judge me. Judge your mama. Cause they so funny. Are you guys still with me? Let me see. Yeah, y'all still with me. So for these nouveaux, smack it like this. Get the gravity to get it all down there, and just push to make a little dot. This one's not. It's clogged. I haven't used my nouveaux in a while. Where did that eye pen go? I could have, you could put some little, your little dangles. I made some of these. This one. But I really wanted to use the charms from Pretty Mix Studio. You can actually do both. Working and not crafting. <laughs> Alicia, you're going to stop making fun of me, girl. Okay. There we go. That one's a little crusty. And then I'm going to add... Should I add one here? I'm going to add one here. Ooh. So there's that one. And it's pretty. So let me set it somewhere so I don't mess it up to dry. Then we have this one. Could definitely use some orange. There's like no room to put anything. Put one there, put one here. Do you guys think I should add the hot pink nouveau or the black? Thank you, Lillian. Thank you, Sandra. Guys, should I put a black nouveau drop or the pink? Two for pink, one for black. Okay, pink. Christina, I don't know what yes means. She's just like, yes. Mm -mm, it's still a little tiny. A little baby one. Look how cute that looks. Oh my God, so cute. You're outnumbered, Lillian and Tracy. And Bevy. Do so just push it and pull like like that. I'm getting hyper. Oh, so cute. 
should have put some on the sentiment. Look at how tiny that little baby one is. <gasps> I got to do another baby one. I got to do another baby one. Make that sound when you do it. How cute. Okay. So there's that one. The little kitty. She's so cute. Okay, the next one we're going to put black. We have this one. I barely put any clusters, but we're going to go crazy with the nouveaux. I definitely want to do orange because there's like no orange there. I'm going to do a big ass one there. Going to do a little one here. Okay, let's use the black one. The orange is so bomb, guys. I'm telling you, like if you get any orange for Halloween, get that one. You guys know I will never steer you wrong. I'm going to do a little baby. A little baby. Damn you, I knew you were going to give me shit. Because I didn't poke you first. Smack it down. Thank you. This one doesn't set like the damn other ones. It's got a little, it's a little Hershey's kiss. That's all right. And let's do a black one. Mm, here. It's a little Hershey's kiss. Do you see that? Thank you, Eva. Good night, girl. They're so cute, guys. Oh, well, it's going to be a Hershey's Kiss. Okay. And then let's put some of this hot pink. So let's put a hot pink one here. I want a big one there. They will flatten and form their, themselves, guys, okay? So you don't have to do a lot. Thank you, Sandra. And let's do a pink one here. A little baby. All right, so there's that one. Let me set it up here to dry. We got two more. I made a lot. I love this pumpkin with the candy corn, guys. This stamp is from the this these these little candy corns are from the stamp. Check out this previous the previous video to this one if you missed it and you want to check out all the stuff. It's so cute. It's my favorite from the stamps. All right. Oh, I should have made her a mole. I should have made her a mole, Sandra. That would have been cute, girl. Okay, I definitely want to add some hot pink to this one. Let's do a big one there. And let's put one here, a little medium one. The iridescent ghost came from my Urban Gems order, believe it or not. Tara always stresses me out by throwing sequins in my damn box. She doesn't put them nicely into a bag for me. She knows I have OCD about that shit, but she does it to torment me. But when you order from her, she's always got some kind of sequins in your order. So y'all better place some Urban Gems orders. So you can get your little translucent spermies. So cute. And I'm going to try the black as well. What did Bevy say? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Girl, that used to be my song. 
Okay. And let's do the black one. You could even take this and you can go put it, let's put it on um, our candy corn. So you don't only have to do dots with your Nouveau. You can make things look dimensional or glossy or matte. This is a matte one. So I think it's going to make them look a little bit more dimensional. Ah, don't you dare fall. Yes, guys, use Poochie 10 for Urban Gems. Get another 10% off your purchase. Got to be careful with the other ones. So you don't have to just make dots, guys. You can use your Nouveau drops in different ways. Oh, my gosh, so cute. Damn you. Motherfucker. And I want to put something somewhere else. We need a bloopy here. So damn her, she's kissed with these. And put one here. I use my Nouveaux for so much. Yes, girl. Nouveaux are the bomb. It's the wrong cap. This one. these The black one goes on the glow and the dark one, guys. And then the vintage one has this, this different cap. Oh, I got one more. I was about to say that's it for this video. Let me hang that there. I'm not going to feel like taking pictures of these tonight. And then this one is my very first one. I did not put an eyelid on it. And I put my trim right directly in the middle of it. So you guys can do that too. Yes, girl. Oh, my God. I got so many noodles. I think I should hang something here, guys. What do you think? I don't know if this is going to go through this lace. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it. And I'm going to put the little pump pink pumpkin on this one. So don't argue with me. Okay? Don't argue with me. Um, I'm going to use a white eyelid on this one. Don't argue with me. Damn it, I dropped one. I got to get that up. Because if I step on that, I'm going to be pissed. I have a big shoebox of Nouveaux. I must do better. <laughs> Let me add my little eyelet. I do, I, the, my crocodile, this is too small. That's why I use this one, because it's a smaller hole. This one, the hole is too, too big. The smaller one is too big for this. And I use my crocodile to set it. The whatever this is, size this is, I forgot what size this is. The, the one eighth, seven eighth, one eighth, whatever. It's too big. This one, I think I got this from Hobby Lobby or Tuesday morning. And it wouldn't say the damn measurement, but it's a smaller hole punch. All right, where's that little pumpkin? right there and man i wish i had some black jump rings thank you tracy so guys if you make these they're super easy tag me you if you don't have the stuff you can use what you have so i can share it on my social media and by social media, I mean Instagram. Oh my God, I love the skeleton. The skeleton is so cute to me. He's my favorite from all the characters in that stamp set. 
And I don't appreciate how Stampin' Up left him out, okay, Alicia? I don't appreciate them doing him like that. They put the ghost in there. They put the pumpkin in there. They put the cat in there. And they did not put my friend the skeleton on there. I don't appreciate that. Hating on the plate like that. Look at how cute. Oh, my God. I'm so obsessed. Look at that little pumpkin. It's so adorable. Use a Sharpie for what? Use a Sharpie for what? Okay, now let me add some Nouveau. I didn't even add any sequins, so let's add that. Are y'all tired of me yet? If you are, don't matter. It don't matter. I know, they're hating on him. Hating on him because he's a player. From the Himalayas. Yeah, you tell them to get on that shit ASAP. Okay, Alicia? Because it ain't right how they did him. He needs his own punch now. Let's add the little pink. We can't leave this one out. Oh, color jump ring. What a great idea, Christina. Girl, my finger's going to be all black. A Posca pen will probably work too, right? Damn, I feel like I'm about to choke. I'm going to put the little ghosty. He's like, hey. You guys ever watch South Park? I'm putting him here. And do you guys remember Towley? Please tell me you guys have watched South Park and you know who Towley is. Towley was a stoner. And he used to always say, hey, you want to get high? And this one is giving me Towley vibes. He's like, hey. Some of y'all going to be like, what the hell is she talking about? But if you know, you know. Oh, my God. You need to watch South Park, girl. I don't know about the new South Park, but the old South Park was so funny. Me and my husband used to watch it all the time. We bought all the DVDs. Do you guys remember when one of the, I don't know if it was Kyle, he had hemorrhoids? And he, <laughs> oh shit, Kyle had hemorrhoids. I think it was Kyle. He had hemorrhoids, and he tried, to <laughs> he tried to jump over the fence, and he's like, "My cream, I need my cream." <laughs> oh shit! It wasn't Towley. It was Mister Hanky? Wasn't Mister Hanky the shit? <laughs> I'll never forget that episode. He's like, my cream. Yeah, girl, there's been like newer episodes of um, South Park, evidently. But I think they're doing too damn much. I can't watch it. But me and my husband have a big ass stash of South Park. And then we couldn't watch it anymore when the kids came along. When the cock blockers came along. <laughs> oh, my God, my kids are going to watch these one day like, Mom, why would you say that? Now we can't watch shit. Can't listen to shit. When my kids are out the car, I listen to the most ratchetest shit. My cream! <laughs> he was like, oh, I need my cream. If you have not watched South Park, the older ones, watch it, guys. You will get a laugh. All right. Let's add our new bowls, and I'm out of here. Because I ain't got time to be up with y'all all night long. Okay.
I don't know how it is. You know what I'm talking about. All right, let's just do, I'm not gonna do any more black on here. I'm gonna do the one in the pink. Let me, um, these keep getting clogged on me. Yes, girl. Just listen to the, the ratchetest, nastiest shit that I could find when the kids ain't in the car. One there. Let's put one here on top. I guess I'm going to do two only. Oh, it was Kenny. Oh, yeah, he was always dying. <laughs> oh, my God. And they did Timmy so wrong. Oh, my God. Timmy. Oh. I should have the tiny one there. Look at how cute. So look, you can do this, guys. This is what I love this one for. When you're going over orange and it dries translucent, guys, it's going to be so beautiful. That's another thing I love to use, do with my novels, is to bring out accents. So pretty. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. Mm okay. -hmm. He was like, mm okay. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for this video. I enjoyed you guys so much. Thank you so much for laughing with me and spending the night with me. That don't sound right. But I hope you guys have a great night. Hope you found some inspiration from this video. Uh, comment below and let me So I got to go. My hubby's calling me. I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay. Good night, guys. Bye.